price and it's also just so beautiful it looks very mid-century comes with this great base gold rim beautiful shape nice sturdy glass um so we'll talk a little bit about first we'll talk about rabbit you know it's funny my dad actually gave me i mean rbt which is rabbit has been in the business for 30 years they were the ones who made the original electric corkscrew and i remember my dad gave it to me a long long time ago and it was like really bulky and i didn't think much of it because let's be honest at that point i was drinking like too much and he was like no no no, you want to hang on to this obviously over the years they have expanded but they've always sort of been like the preeminent name in wine accessories and the whole thing with decanting is um, and if this is news to you, great. And if it's not, bear with me. But with, with uh, sorry, my cat's like making weird noises over there. If you hear him meowing, it's just my cat. Um, you basically want to decant because it does two things. It's going to separate the sediment in your wine and it's going to open up and aerate the wine. So if you're drinking wines that are rich in tannins that have like really layered complex flavors, uh, decanting it is going to open it up and make it a lot more pleasant to drink it's going to open the bouquet if you're someone who's really into like the aroma and the notes of wine it's definitely going to do that so put it out here depending on the age it's anywhere from like 30 minutes to two hours um and as you can see sometimes when i get a little lazy or if i'm just having a glass what i would do is i drink a lot of natural wine too so if you are drinking something that's a pet nut or an orange wine, it's going to have sediment in it, as you probably know. This in the decanter is going to catch all of the sediment. So sometimes what I'll just do is if I'm just pouring, you know, a glass at home, I just put it in, it aerates out, gets the sediment out, and then I don't have any sediment in my glass. So it's a little lazy, but it does do the trick. The other thing you can do is, and this is my newest wine purchase, I'm very into it. They also make an aerator. So an aerator, you would just put on the top of a bottle like you would a cork. I'm trying to see, I don't have an empty bottle, but you get the idea. You can use your imagination. So you're going to uncork the bottle. You're going to screw that on. Oh, let me show it to you. Bear with me. There we go. Okay. 